Hello, my name is Mark and I thank you so much for coming by today. This is a little bit of a different video because it's not something I really talk about, but it's something that I've been doing for many, many years. And I, from what I've understood from other people is that not many artists do this and not many, especially beginning artists, understand this. And that is the art of passive creativity. And what I mean by that is the art of not knowing what you're going to do or not having a plan going into a drawing or painting. And that can be kind of frustrating for some people. It can even be very anxious inducing for some people when they open up their sketchbook or take out a canvas and they want to start painting, they want to start drawing, but have no idea what to do. So it can actually limit the creative spirit and push you or push us away from exploring that. And that's not what we want to do. That's not why we buy these art supplies. That's not why we sit down and take that time to immerse in our work. So in those moments when we don't know what to do, that's where I call upon the art of passive creativity. Now, what does that mean? The art of passive creativity is basically just taking the art supplies that you enjoy and applying them passively, meaning without any intention or any direction. Some call it stream of consciousness, and it just flows out of you and you make connections as you go along from one to the other. Here you can see I'm just laying down colors. I chose blue and yellow because I like those colors together and they make me happy. And then once I laid those down, I thought, hmm, I drew out all these squares in pretty much a random pattern and I'm filling in with color. So what color would go next? And I thought, well, you know, yellow is a primary like blue. So what, what other primary would there be? There'd be red. Well, what if I mixed red with yellow so i used orange <laughs> and so you know the vermilion color and the uh now i'm using sort of a may green color here and i'm using Payne's gray just to offset the whole thing this is all very passive even this opera pink is very passive there's no real rhyme or reason i'm using it i'm just going based on impulse and instinct and i'm having a lot of fun doing it and that is the whole point point. and what ends up happening is i create a piece of art that is an, a piece of art all on its own but then later, sometimes days, weeks, months, and even years later, I will open up a sketchbook and find one of these passive paintings that I can now draw into. Now, I admit this one has been sitting around in my sketchbook. Um, I painted it a few weeks ago, so it's been sitting around in my sketchbook, and I just came across it the other night, and I thought, oh, I'm going to draw into this. But I might as well share this technique with other people. And this can be done in reverse. You can do a drawing and then save it for later and paint on it later, or you can do a painting and draw on it later, or you don't even have to draw on it at all. <laughs> it's however you want to approach it. But I just wanted to share this with some of you and just say, hey, you know, when you feel like you want to be creative and you want to express yourself and you just want to use those art supplies that you've invested in and you've, you've just had kicking around and you want to use them, but you just don't know what to do. Or if you don't have a lot of time on your hands and you want to create something, you just don't know what, then passive creativity is a really fun wonderful, relaxing way to immerse into your creative spirit and just explore those art supplies that you never really get to use very much. I know that um, a lot of folks like to swatch out their paints. That's another way of passive creativity is just swatching out the paints in your paint tin or maybe you have colored pencils. You can swatch out your colored pencils. Those swatches are great for reference later when you do want to sit down and create a new drawing or painting. You now have a reference chart of the colors that you have. And that's another way of passive creativity. This way for me is, again, something that I've been doing for many, many years. And I highly encourage people to try it, if not practice it on a regular basis. Uh, you look at somebody like Bob Ross, who would do his television show, and he would just literally just put paint on a canvas because he knows his techniques and he knows his style. But it was really just passive creativity because him putting up a body of water like a lake was nothing more than him just applying paint in a way that he's familiar. And there was no reference photo he was working from. He was working straight out of his head, stream of conscious, using techniques that he's developed over years. And that happens to a lot of artists. They get into that process of just repeating the same process over and over. And sometimes it works and sometimes it just puts you in that rut of doing the same thing again and again. For me, this is nothing more than just sheer fun. And that's the whole point of this is I have 
have fun doing this. It keeps my creative spirit engaged and keeps me flowing and keeps my mind open too. Because with each block that I'm drawing into of color, it, pro it presents new opportunities for something different to draw. And for this drawing, I decided for some reason along the way, um, owls and cats were, <laughs> were predominant in this drawing. And that was kind of fun because I really don't draw owls very often and they just seem to pop out at me in these shapes. And that's the fun thing about this. It's, you know, this is grown up coloring book stuff. This is just you playing and me playing and just having fun and sharing it. And if it's in a sketchbook for ourselves, then that's where it should stay. If you want to sell it, if you want to present it to somebody as a gift, then that's great too. Whatever you want to do with it. The whole key to this is to simply calm your breathing down, relax, enjoy the art supplies you've, you've purchased and enjoy, and just find that immersive time to just spend with your creative spirit. And that's the whole point of this exercise. And I hope that makes sense because for a lot of people, and I've seen it time and time again, especially with younger people and students and beginner artists where they look at a blank page or a blank sketchbook and just don't know what to draw. Or they start to draw and feel like they messed it up so they abandon that drawing and switch to another page, which I hate to see people give up on a drawing. So this, you know, there are no mistakes here. There are no successes as far as, you know, one over another. The whole thing is a success because it's just me, my artwork, my creative spirit, and this, the tools that I'm using. And there's no one here to judge. There's no one here to just say, this is good or bad. This is just me having a lot of fun. And that's what I'm trying to promote in this video is just, you know, if you're in a rut or if you're stuck, or even if you just are bored, take out your art supplies, lay down some color, and maybe put it away for a while. Maybe take five or six pages in a sketchbook and lay down some paint and see what happens later. Maybe do a doodle and put that away and come back to it later and add some color to that doodle. Any way you approach it, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of uh, just free time that you get to sink into your artwork and forget about the rest of the world. And that's what I love to do the most. When I step into my little studio here, my, my attic space studio, <laughs> I love to just sit down and forget about the world. And that is precious time to me. My creative time is precious time on this planet for me. So I hope that means something for you too. If you relate to this video at all, then I highly suggest act on it. Don't just watch it and walk away. If it if it's something that resounds with you and say, you know, you say, wow, I really enjoy doing this too. I do the same thing. That's awesome. And I'd love to hear your experiences too. So if you have comments to feedback, please leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on passive creativity and passive painting and drawing. Because Anything that gets us to engage our creative spirit is going to be positive for our health, our mental health, and just our happiness overall. And even here, you can see I'm going back in and <laughs> just adding some little details here and there, some little freckles and things. Uh, it's all part of the experience. And when I get to this point, this is where I feel the success. This is where I feel the actual happiness coming out because it's done. When I first got into it, I wasn't sure where it was going to go. I wasn't sure what I was going to be drawing. Was it going to be a themed drawing where everything makes sense together? Was it just going to be random like it turned out and just, you know, for fun? Or was it going to be a statement that really made me take notice that, wow, I need to work on areas of my drawing here. I really need to challenge myself a little more here or there. There's a lot of things that can come out of doing an exercise like this. So for your own artwork and for your own time, your time is precious to you. Your time is valuable to you. So if you're going to be creative and you need to practice more, this is the way to do it. This is a great way to do it. I shouldn't say it's the only way. This is a great way to do that is to sit down and just lay color on a page and let it sit for a while. S just sit down, do a drawing, put it away for a while, then revisit it later. Your sketchbooks aren't going anywhere. Your skills aren't going anywhere but your skills will get rusty if you don't practice. So this is a great way to keep your skills engaged, keep your creative spirit engaged, and to just have a great time doing what you love to do. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope this resounded with you. If it did, please subscribe if you haven't before. I would love to bring you more content like this. As always, keep that creative spirit engaged. Thanks again for coming by. Stay healthy and God bless.